Greetings, this is Greg Bem, one of the SEC librarians. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate accessing and using the JSTOR database. From the SEC library homepage, click on A to Z databases. You will be taken to this page. Once you're here, go to the J to filter by J databases and click on JSTOR to be taken in a new tab to the JSTOR website. Note that at the bottom of the screen, there is a bar here that is all about cookies. Even if you hit OK Proceed, it will show up on other pages. So for this demonstration, I'm going to leave it on the screen. The top bar is the JSTOR bar. It provides the icon and title of the database. And on the right-hand side, there are links to registering for a free account or logging into an account if you already have one. You can browse resources a variety of ways using this browse dropdown. And you can go to your workspace if you have logged in and look at anything that you've saved to your account. Explore the world's knowledge, culture, and ideas is the tagline for JSTOR. And beneath that is the bar for conducting searches in JSTOR. You can search for all content or you can search for images. Images will lead you to Art Store content. If you're interested in learning about Art Store, I recommend watching our video on Art Store to seeing what it's like and what's included. You can also use the Advanced Search screen to do queries with a variety of keyword bars, Boolean operators, and filters that you can select from the get-go to help narrow your search in advance. For this demonstration, we'll be sticking with the basic search bar. Beneath the main screen, you will encounter some interesting information from JSTOR. The ability to browse by collection, looking at featured resources based on current topics and events, and a highlight on primary sources. Beneath that, you can get access to a lot of information about JSTOR, what it is, who's working on it, and so on. Let's scroll back up to the top and do a quick search in all content for poetry. Note that when we search for poetry, before we hit search, we will have some autocomplete options to tell JSTOR where we want to search. For example, in everything, just search for poetry, or within the author and creator name the title of the piece, the publication name, or even images. Also notice that with a general search, it's already telling us that we're going to be getting about 815,000 results. We can take this as a hint that this is a pretty broad search. But for the purpose of the demonstration, we're going to stay broad and do this search. When we click search, this is what's going to show up. Similar to other databases, we'll have our filters on the left. We can filter by content type, primary source content, the date of creation or publication, subject information, language. And then in the middle of the screen, we have our results. We can sort these by relevance, newest or oldest. And then each of the search results is listed as follows. It starts with the type of source. So in this case, journal article, and then the title, and then the author and publication information, and a snippet from the abstract. On the right of this source information, we have the ability to download the source, save it if we're signed in, or if we click Cite, it will create MLA, Chicago, and APA references that we can copy into our document. Let's click on the title of this first source, Poetry is Research and as Therapy. This will take us to the record page. The record page in JSTOR doubles as the viewing page for full text. Let's take a look at the top. It has the basic metadata we saw in the search results, and then expandable boxes here that tell us more about the source and related texts to help us with our research. Those tools that were in our search results are still here, and then the viewer in the middle. 
As with other viewers, we have options for changing the view settings and navigating, including searching in the document. In order to download this, we would need to click the download button. This concludes the basic overview of JSTOR. I hope you found it enjoyable and helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to the SCC librarians. We're happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and take care.